In this video, I'm going to show you how to get instant headache relief. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over easy exercises that can give instant headache relief even within 30 seconds. A note about these exercises, each one works just a little bit differently. They're going to target different muscles that are highly associated with headaches. So to get the best results, go through them all, use what gives you the most relief. With that being said, Let's get started. A main cause of headaches is because of a buildup of muscle tension in the neck, shoulders, and upper back. Here's a really easy way to release that and get quick relief. For this one, we just need two thumbs, so I hope you have that. What we're going to do is focus on the muscles right below the base of the skull. And if you do have some massage oil or lotion laying around, I would grab it and coat the neck because it will make it a lot more comfortable. But what you're going to do is take your fingers, interlock them, have your thumbs pointed towards the floor, and and then position your hands on the back of your head, thumbs right at the base of the skull. What we want to do is take our thumbs and hook right into those muscles off to the side of the spine and then just pull over like this towards our ear, just allowing our thumbs to glide over those muscles. Just apply enough pressure in there where it's going to be a comfortable self-massage. And this one usually feels really, really good. I like to go over one spot roughly about five to 10 times. And then afterwards, see how you feel. If it feels pretty loose, no pain, no tightness, just move down towards the middle part of the neck and repeat this going all the way down towards the base of the neck, even into the shoulders. When you do this though, you're probably going to find that one certain spot is just the pinpoint spot of tension. Maybe there's just a lot of achiness or pain right there. Like let's say that I have a lot going off to my right side. What I want to do is stop over that spot and then take my thumb and really press into that tightness as much as I can. And then what I do is just a light circular motion with my thumb. I like to go counterclockwise for a couple times and then switch it up and go clockwise with it. It's really important to attack the muscle fibers at different angles because it will help loosen them up a little bit more and you'll get more relief. But keep doing this over and over again until it finally loosens up or you're not getting any more improvement. And you may find that after doing this, you can get relief even within 30 seconds. But if you have one spot that's just really stubborn, doesn't want to release, what I would do at that point is try to throw some neck movements in there to open up the neck a little bit more to get more relief. So whatever side that you're having the most amount of pain or tightness, let's say it's your right side, what you want to do is turn your head to look towards the other side, so towards the non-painful side. At that point, you're going to notice that that part of the neck opens up a little bit more. Those muscles are going to activate where you can dig in there just a little bit more. So give that a try. You can also do a bending motion. So again, if it's on the right side, what you want to do is tilt or bend your head away from the pain. So my left ear is going towards my left shoulder. Just opens up the neck a little bit differently. This one really helps for the shoulders too. So give both of those movements a try. If they help out a little bit more, then throw some more repetitions in in that position. So if you really want to take this one to the next level, what you can do is what is called muscle scraping or gua sha. You're probably wondering why I have a spoon in my pocket. But for this one, we are going to need a large metal spoon. You want one with a little bit more thickness to it, you'll get better results. And you'll definitely want to put something on your neck, some form of massage oil or lotion. And you want to coat pretty much from the top of the neck all the way towards the base of the neck, even into the shoulders. We're gonna focus on everything. This one is wonderful. So when it comes to the spoon, it doesn't matter what part you use. You can use the handle right here, the tip, the rounded portion. During this exercise, you're probably going to find that certain parts of the spoon work just a little bit better in certain areas. But I would experiment with it and go with what works best for you. But the position of the spoon, what we're going to do is angle it roughly at about 30, 45 degrees like this, and we're just going to scrape the skin. That's why it's called muscle scraping. So we're just really trying to scrape that tightness out. And as you do this too, I don't know if you can see it over the video, you're probably going to notice that red 
pockets start to form over the skin. Well, you might not be able to see it because it's going to be on your neck, but that's a good thing because that's blood flow coming to the surface that's going to help promote healing. So let's start again right at the top of the neck below the base of the skull. And what we're going to do is avoid anything that feels bony. So don't go over the skull or the spine, only over muscle and soft tissue. Let's angle our spoon. And then what we're going to do is scrape top down. We always want to scrape towards the heart because that will help uh, improve circulation. So I'm just going to go over one certain spot about five to ten times. See how it feels. If it feels pretty good, just switch over a different spot and then repeat doing this all across the neck towards the middle part, towards the base of the neck, even into the shoulders. Again, if you find that one certain spot, like let's say that muscle not right here, you're just going to go into it just a little bit more, dig in there over and over again until it finally releases. I would recommend trying to use different parts of the spoon and I would also try to attack it at different angles. So instead of going top down, go more towards like a 45 degree angle like this. Attack the muscle fibers at different angles to get better results. And you can also throw those neck movements in like this to open it up just a little bit differently. But give that a try and I hope that that gives you quick headache relief. So an overlooked cause of headaches actually comes from the jaw. When you get stressed, what's generally the first thing that you tend to do? You clench down on your jaw, which can lead to a lot of tension in that area leading to headaches. So here's a really easy way to release all of that tension, hopefully get some quick relief. For this one, we're just going to take two fingers on both hands. I just use my middle finger and my index finger. And you're just going to massage lightly over the jaw joint right off to the side of the ear. If you're having difficulty finding it, no big deal. Just open and close your mouth a couple times. You'll definitely feel that joint. But what you want to do is a light circular massage. Go lightly with this one and just go over it about five to ten seconds. From there what you want to do is explore the whole area. Go a little bit above right here. Also go a little bit below off to the side of the ear. You can go over the cheek right here all the way over the jaw itself. Explore the whole area. What you're trying to do is find a certain spot that may just have a lot of tightness or even achiness in it. Like right here, I almost feel a lot of muscle tightness off to the side of the jawbone right here. At that point, you want to stop over it and keep massaging into that spot and progressively put just a little bit more pressure into it to finally get it to release. But from here, what we also want to focus on are the temples right here. Obviously, this is a hot spot for tension and it offers usually quick relief. You just want to find that divot right off to the side of your forehead right here and just massage right in there. This one usually feels really good. I like to go counterclockwise with it for about five to ten seconds and then switch it up and go clockwise with it and repeating this over and over again until everything feels like it's nice and loose. We also want to focus on the muscles that run off to the side of our head right here because these are muscles that also support the jaw. So for this one I just take my fingers and what I'm going to do is just press into those muscles and do a light circular massage like this. So just start right above the ear, press in there and just use your fingertips to do a light massage. This one usually feels really, really good. I like to go over one spot for about five seconds and then I just move up, repeating this over the whole side of my head. You can go all the way towards the top of the skull right here, over the back. What you're trying to do again is just find that one certain spot, like right here on the right side, I can feel it right there. I just massage into that lightly over and over again until everything is finally relaxed and loose. But go through all of these movements right here over all of these positions. If you find that one is just giving you more relief at that point, throw more repetitions in. So if you're in a pinch and need quick headache relief, here are a couple exercises that take roughly about 30 seconds. Great part is you can do these ones anytime, anywhere, standing or seated. The first one, what you're going to do is put your arms off to your side and tuck them close to your body. Let's shrug our shoulders upward towards our ears as much as we can, focusing on moving through our shoulder blades. You should feel a ton of muscles around the upper back shoulders and neck start to fire. Let's hold this position and now slowly tilt our head, taking one ear towards one side shoulder. As you do this, you're going to feel a deep stretch form in the neck. When you can't go any further, 
you're going to hold this for a second and then repeat it on the other side, kind of like a windshield wiper going back and forth. Do this five times in both directions. Should take you about 10 to 15 seconds. The next movement, we're going to shrug up just a little bit more and now slowly turn to look over one side shoulder as much as we can. It's going to hit the neck muscles just a little bit differently. Again, hold that for a second, repeat on the other side. Do that five times in both directions. So it should take you about 30 seconds to do all of these movements. Another way to hit the muscles is to go in reverse. So instead of shrugging up like this, shrug downward. So usually what I do is I take my hands, put them on my legs, and then just slide my hands down my legs as much as we can. What you're going to notice is the shoulder blades get brought down this time, and you're going to feel the muscles in the upper back and neck get hit just a little bit differently. So let's hold that position and then repeat those movements going side to side like this and then looking over the shoulder. You're probably going to notice while doing this that one certain movement just hits the tightness the best or offers the most relief. Like let's say shrugging down and then tilting towards my right. At that point what I would recommend doing is building into that movement over and over again until everything is nice and loose or you're not getting any more relief. So another good stretch is what is called the armpit sniffer. This one's going to target a muscle called the levator scapula, big instigator of tension headaches. So for this one, whatever side that you're having the most amount of pain or tightness in the neck, let's say it's your right side, you're going to slowly turn to look over the other side shoulder as much as you can. When you can't go any further, you're going to hold that, take your hand on the other side, hook the back of your head, and now pull your chin towards your armpit as much as you can. As you do this, you're going to feel a deep stretch form on the top of the shoulder blade that goes into the side of the neck towards the back of the ear. Usually feels pretty good. Hold this one comfortably for 20 to 30 seconds and then relax. If it feels like you need a little bit more, you can definitely throw in as many repetitions as you like. And I do recommend doing this on the other side, even if it doesn't hurt, just to help keep everything nice and loose. But again, go through all of those movements, find the one that helps you out the most, and at that point, throw more repetitions in. If the exercises help, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.